Hey guys, it's Karis Eleanor. I am back with another vinyl collection video. It hasn't been a long time, but like I said in the last video, it wouldn't be a long time. So I'm gonna give the regular shtick and then we'll get right into it. If you're new here, I got my record player for my 13th birthday. I've had it for four years. I've made five vinyl videos, which will be in the description if you wanna check them out. And I've been collecting these next 10 records since August, 2022. So let's get right into it. If you're not new to this channel, then this next record should not be a shock to literally anyone, but it is Elton John by Elton John. This will probably be the last Elton John record that I have in a vinyl collection video, because I think I'm done listening to all his albums, but I might listen to Caribou, so you might see Caribou in the future. But I think this might be the last one for a while, at least. I found this record in a thrift store in August, and I got it for really cheap, and it's kind of old, which is kind of fun. So the back just looks like this, it just has the names of the band that plays with Elton on his records and on his tour. When it opens up, it's got all of the songs on it, the whole track list, and a really cool font that has all of the lyrics down. And the record itself is just a plain black with this fun little pattern in the middle. My favorite song on this record is No Shoe Strings on Louise. It's just... I love it. There's a lot of really great songs on here, but it is his first album, so it's not his best, obviously, but it did get nominated for Album of the Year the year that it came out, I believe, so it's still really good, not as best, but I still really enjoyed it. And that's Elton John by Elton John. But you never get to think and choose, she's bought you and sold you, there ain't no shoe strings on the way. The next record I got I'm actually so insanely excited about, and that is Hosier by Hosier. We're starting off with two self-titled albums, so I don't think there are any more. Let me check, hold on. There are no more self-titled albums in this video, so it's, a, it's great that we're starting with two. <laughs> I absolutely adore this album and I have for a number of years. I finally got this record as a Christmas gift from my best friend Ava, so thank you Ava. The back just has the track list, so side A, B, C, and D, and all the songs that are on it. It opens up to this super pretty artwork. I love it. The sleeves just have all the lyrics to the songs that are on that specific disc, and then we have more artwork on them. And the records are just plain black, and they have artwork on one side and the track list on the other side. This record might be the prettiest record that I own, just with all the artwork inside of it. Like, I love just looking at it. My favorite song on this album is a basic pick, but like, I don't really care. It's Jackie and Wilson. It's the best one. Well, take me to church, but it's the best one. All of these singles for this album are insanely amazing, so I feel like you can't blame me for saying that Jack and Wilson is my favorite one. And that's Hosier by Hosier. The next record I got is The Black Parade by My Chemical Romance. This album is my third favorite album of literally all time. It's so great, I love a concept album. Love me a concept album. And it's just so neat and it's so, it's crafted so particularly and like every decision they made you could tell took like time and thought. And it's just super cool. I got this as a Christmas gift from my parents, so thank you mom and dad. The thing that's really cool about this record is that this isn't the album cover. Like it, they did a whole separate little artwork for the record, which is super cool. When you open it up, it's got a little photo shoot of all of the little characters in the album and from the music videos and stuff like that. It's got the members of the band in the middle. It comes with a little sheet that has all of the lyrics to all the songs on it. The record is black and it has the songs on it and then the songs that are on that specific side are highlighted in white. If you like this album and you collect records, I highly recommend getting this on vinyl because every like My, Chem My Chemical Romance song is super rich and like they put so much into it and you can especially hear it when you play it on record and it's so amazing and it just makes you appreciate the music like even more. My favorite song on this album is another basic pick, but like, come on, it's dead. Just like, everything about it, like it's early on in the album so we're still like establishing the whole storyline and it's just so, there's so much happening and it's just so cool and I absolutely adore that song. But Mama, Cancer, and Sleep do come at a close second. Like all three of them <laughs> at a close second. But Dead is definitely my favorite. And that's The Black Parade by Mad Chemical Romance. The 
The next record I got I am so excited about and that is Sonder by The Rex. This album came out almost a year ago and it's already my fifth favorite album of all time. The Rex are my favorite band and I just love seeing them progress and how they're changing things up and I love it. And this album just has hit after hit, like every song is so good and I absolutely love it. This was another Christmas gift from my parents, so thank you mom and dad. The backside just has the track list. And the sleeve that the record's in just has the songs and their lyrics along with this photo of the four members. And the record is super sick. It's this orangey yellow color with a bunch of like black paint splatter. It's so cool. And it just has side A, side B, and the songs that are on it in the middle. My favorite song in this album is Ugly Side. It's so funny to me. It's not, well it's not, but. <laughs> But it's just, it's a little funny. It's a little funny. It's a little funny. It's a little funny. Like if I was involved in the relationship that he's singing about, I would not want to be in there and I'd be severely depressed. But looking at it from an, like a third perspective, <laughs> then I can appreciate how kind of funny it is. And it's so great. And I think Nick Anderson is a great vocalist and I love this band and this album. Anyway, that's Sonder by The Rex. I told you I saw us again. This next record is another one of my favorite albums of all time. It's not in my top five though, it's probably like, like a six. And that is Louder Than Bombs by The Smiths. I love this album so much. It's so long and it's a compilation album, so it's just a bunch of random stuff, but I love it. I bought this record in March in a record store in Bloomington, Indiana. I don't remember what record store it was though. I've searched and I don't have any receipts or anything, so I have no clue, but it was a really cool store. They had a lot there and it was really neat. But I have a t-shirt. I, I bought a t-shirt at the record store that was like, this record store in Bloomington, Indiana. I will look at that while I'm editing and I'll put it in the corner. So you, if you wanna, if you live near Bloomington or in Bloomington, then you can check it out. The back side just has all of the songs, four side, one, two, three, and four. When you open it up, it has all the songs and their lyrics in super tiny font because there are a lot of them. The sleeve that the record comes in is this really cool like burgundy kind of color. And the record is black and it has this sunset kind of gradient in the middle with the songs on it. My favorite song on this album is Shakespeare's Sister. It's just super cool. I love it. I love it. I love every song on this album. Like there actually are no skips. Even Golden Lights. Even Golden Lights. I'll say it. I'll say it. I'll say it. But Shakespeare's Sister is my favorite. It's so amazing. I like had it on, I have like one specific playlist that I play like every morning when I get ready and I change it like weekly. And Shakespeare's Sister was on it for like, I think like four months. I just love that song so much. And that's Louder Than Bombs by The Smiths. The next record I got is another one that I'm super excited about and that is Either Or by Elliot Smith. I love Elliot Smith. He speaks to my soul. He speaks to my soul in the same way that like Joni Mitchell speaks to my soul. Little guy. I don't know what possessed me to do that. Uh, so I'd like to do it. I'd like, to, uh, I'd like to, to apologize for whatever that was. I bought this record in the same record store in Bloomington that I bought Louder Than Bombs in. It was a double purchase, a double find, and I was like, I just won the lottery. The backside just has this little neat photo and it has the track list on the bottom. There's a little sheet in the record that has all of the lyrics to the songs on it. And the record itself is black and it has a pale yellow middle. My favorite song in this album is another song that was on that one playlist for like months and that is Ballad of Big Nothing. It's like a sad song, but it goes hard, I gotta say. Say Yes is a very close second, but Ballad of Big Nothing takes the, takes the gig. And that is Either Or by Elliot Smith. Call me a male manipulator. Literally call me it. I don't care because the next one 
is another Smiths record. It is The Queen is Dead by The Smiths. You guys have actually no idea how long I've been searching for this record, like at least two years. I only searched for it in like stores though, and I think my mom would search for it online and she couldn't find it anywhere. I don't know, but we were upset. And then I literally was in a record store in my hometown. I can't say what it's called. It, it was just there. And you, you, and you gotta understand, you gotta understand. I live in like a town, they call, they call it a city, it's not. There's like 50,000 people here, I think, and that's like it. So the fact that I found this record that I've been searching for for so long, just in my home town, it was just there. I went to the mall on a random Friday and it was just there. So I think God's blessing me or something. He knew I needed a win, so, so he got me this. It was so expensive. I forget how much it was, but it was way too much, but I bought it because I was like, I'm never gonna see this again. Anyway, it was a very big find and I'm so happy that I found it. On the back, it just has the track list in a pink font. It opens up to a photo of the Smiths and then all of the lyrics to all the songs on the album. The sleeve that the record is in has the credits for the album and the record itself is black and it has a dark green middle. Like, I think this was good karma. Like, I don't know what I did to get this, but it was good karma. My favorite song on this album is I Know It's Over and I think that also might be my favorite Smiths song next to Shakespeare's sister, perhaps. And that is The Queen is Dead by The Smiths. The next record I got is another one that I am super excited about, and that is Everything is Wrong by Lincoln. I actually want to make a video essay on this album because it's so incredible. I'll get to it eventually. Maybe this summer I'll get to it. But there's so many like hidden meanings in it, and well, Lincoln never disappoints with his little metaphors and analogies and things like that, but it's so incredible. I bought this record online on his website, and I didn't know that he had records. I just assumed, because he's a smaller artist, that he wouldn't have records but he does so i may have bought two i'll put the link to his website in the description if you want to check that out the back side has this illustration which is inspired by his the music videos and lyric videos for the songs on the album there's a sheet in the record that has all the lyrics to all the songs and it has some credits on the back and the record is like a clear vinyl with this like orangey color in the middle and it has some more illustrations for side A and side B. My favorite song on this album is From God, very closely followed by new music, but I think From God takes the cake. It's just so, like it reminds me of Benny and the Jets because it has that similar kind of like, the rhythm of the piano chords is very similar to Benny and the Jets. And I love Elton John, if you guys didn't know. So I like immediately fell in love with the song like as soon as I listened to it. I remember I was listening to this album for the first time when it came out and I was like, brushing my teeth or something and I had to like stop brushing my teeth and like put my head in my hands when that song started playing because I was like it's literally better than the Jets. So that is Everything is Wrong by Lincoln. The next record is, surprise, surprise, another Lincoln record, and that is A Constant State of Ohio. This album is just an EP, it only has a couple songs on it, um, but it was like his first body of work, and I didn't know that this was on, he had, he had it on record, and I absolutely adore this EP more than anything. Like, it might be my favorite EP of all time. And once again, the link for the website is in the description if you want to purchase this. The backside has the track list for the EP on it. And the record itself is this super cool gold color and it's like shimmery, kind of like transparent. It's super neat. My favorite song on this album is How I Survived Bobby Mackey's Personal Hell. <laughs> Very long title, but such a good song. Oh my God. I love every song on this album. I also love Downhill and I love Banks. And that is A Constant State of Ohio by Lincoln. The last record is a fairly new album, and if you watched my last cover video, you might know what it is. It is The Record by Boy Genius. I bought this at Sunrise Records, 
I immediately, like, like a week after it came out, I like went to the mall and I was like, this better be a sunrise. And it was, and I was so thrilled. I'm gonna see Boy Genius live in like a month and I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I'm gonna see Lucy Dacus in the flesh. In the flesh. She's gonna be right there and I'm gonna be losing it. The back side of this record is just the three of them and the track list for each side. It opens up to another photo of the three of them and all of the credits for the album. It comes with this little pamphlet, which is so fun because I only ever really see these in Elton John records. And it just has all the lyrics to the songs in it and it's super cool and it's all black and white. And the record itself is this bright orange color. It's very bright. <laughs> this album is so personal to me and I think a lot of people can relate to that. It came out at a time when I was like not doing too well and it was just like speaking truths. And I was like, oh, this is, this is lovely. My favorite song on this album, which you probably already know if you've seen my last cover video, is Cool About It. It's just so beautiful. I love the harmonies. I love how simple it is, but the lyrics are so cool. And I just, I absolutely adore it. And that is The Record by Boy Genius. I'm trying to be cool about it. Feeling like an absolute fool about it. Wishing you were kind enough to be And that's it for this final collection video. I'm not sure when the next one will be because the record was the last one that I bought. If you're new here, you might want to know that I have a vinyl collection playlist. It is on Apple Music. I am so sorry if you don't use Apple Music, which is probably a majority of you, but I have all of the albums that I have on record in that playlist. If you want to listen to it, then that link will be in the description. And that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. Don't forget to hit that bell so you get notified when I post a new video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!